Pedal Parts Instructorial. Um, somebody asked me about how I do the decals on my pedals. Uh, didn't prepare, such as that one. Greasy reach around. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it looks kind of screen printed, but it's not. It's actually just laser tool and a transfer, which has been around for a long time and DIY, PCB making, etc. Um, works lovely on boxes. Can only do it in black. I haven't tried it on a colour laser printer yet because nobody let me jam weird papers through there. Expensive printer, but uh, one day we'll find out. So, nice normal box. This is just a scrap one with knackered holes. The key to this is preparation. Box must be nice and clean, otherwise the toner won't take to it. Um, fine wire wool. I've only got medium here. I'm in disarray in the workshop. Just give it a really light rub, uh, just to get a key on it. You don't have to go mad. Uh, just make it nice and clean. If you want to go really crazy, 1200 grit. Wet and dry. Give it a bit of a sand. Wet the paper. A bit more sand until you've got a nice shiny glossy finish. Um, that'll give you a nice key for the uh, toner to take to. Then what you want to do is clean it with isopropyl alcohol or I prefer acetone which is a little bit more difficult to get. It will kill you if you drink it and it does stink and it's quite poisonous but I like it. Give it a bit of a rub. Look how much crap comes off there. These aluminium boxes are really dirty, ingrained dirt. Don't know what that is. A weird little spot that uh, I can't be bothered to clean because this is just scrap. Now, uh, your toner medium. What you don't want to use is normal paper. That just won't work. Or it might, but it'll be a right old fanny on trying to get it to come off. You want something a bit glossy, like uh, gloss inkjet paper, but that again, um, it's a bit fiddly, it doesn't come off very well, you've got to soak it to get it off without the toner coming off. Some people swear by magazine paper, just find your own thing. Um, I happen to have stumbled upon the very best thing in the world, which is the glossy backing to the address labels that I print out all your lovely parcels with. Um, it is absolutely perfect, it's cut to A6 size, which is... Uh, the right size for all of the boxes anyway and the toner just sits nicely on top it's firmly on there it's not going to rub off but it's still sitting there it's not ingrained into the uh, into the paper so do your fancy design there's a fancy design it's the fuzz factory one um, print it out on your laser printer as black as you can and you must flip the image look it's backwards otherwise you're going to end up with a backwards image on your box. Place it on your box. Be careful about it. I can put guides on if you like. I've got dots there so I can put it on the box and I can look up to the light or look at the back and I can see that's in the right place. And there you go, it's done. Tape it down if you like. Um, tape will just clean off uh, any sticky melted on stuff will just clean off with the isopropyl or the acetone. Um, right bit of tissue because you don't want the missus complaining that you've ruined her good iron with uh, bits of clag from sticky tape etc. That on there, nice hot iron, boom. Just leave that on there. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Um, depends on your paper and how dense the design is for how long you want to leave it on there. Personally I'll put the iron on and I'll leave it for a, a whole minute without touching it to let it melt that toner and actually stick the design in place. So that's what it's doing. Um, see you in a minute. Right, that should be nicely stuck now, so I can start actually giving it a press. Really give it a good push down. You want that toner to stick. You can actually move around a bit now as well. Pretend you're riding in a shirt. Pretend you're your lass. 
your fella, whoever it is that does the ironing in your house. Um, I don't. I just wear creased clothes. I don't care. But the missus likes me nicely turned out. So she makes the effort. Okay, get that nicely stuck on there. As I say, the timing on this completely depends on the kind of paper you're using, how ingrained the toner is in that paper. This stuff, a couple of minutes is all it takes. You know what, that'll do because I don't care how this one turns out anyway. It's just a demo. Don't forget to switch the iron off. I left it on for about an hour yesterday. Whoops. Only found it when I went to drill a box and burnt my arm on the on iron. So lift that off. Utilise the tissue to hold the box because that box is now stupidly hot. And just start to peel. If it looks like it's hasn't really worked, get the iron back on there and uh, give it some more. This has only kind of sort of worked. I haven't been very careful at the edge of the box there and I obviously haven't spent too much time on it so some of the black is lifting off. But tell you what, that's not three bad that. Now, as I said, that box is ridiculously hot. Water, Helen. Water. Boom. I should have got a bigger ball, really. That's uh, that's for me mini boxes. This isn't a mini box. It's a normal box. Now you'll want to soak it for a while if it's one of the papers that actually sticks to the box. Like if you use inkjet paper, uh, glossy inkjet paper. That's going to be stuck on there. You don't want to pull the paper straight off. It's just going to tear the toner off with it, or it's just going to stick. So leave your inkjet paper on the box and put the whole thing in water to soak, uh, warm water, and leave it for like five minutes for the paper to soften and lift away from the toner. Uh, do the other half there. Doesn't take long for this to cool down. Aluminium's good like that. But that's totally cool now. Give it a wipe. There we go. That's on there. Mouser. Could just leave it like that. Um, but there is a kind of, with the paper I use, there's a kind of little film on the top. If I scrape, you can see, maybe you can see, maybe you can't. There's a little white thing lifting up there. To film on the top. If I take all of that off, it looks much blacker. Now the toner on there is quite tough. I can actually take that off with the wire wool. No problem at all. Just really, really lightly. I'm not pressing down at all. It's just catching the film and lifting it off. That's it. Done. No film left on there. One box. Finished. Uh, once you've done and happy with it, it's dried off. A few coats of clear coat, um, and that will seal it in quite nicely. I'll just grab mine. I'm not going to clear coat this because it's just a scrap box. There you go. Simon is clear like a acrylic. Uh, if you're in a hurry, two or three coats of that, really, really thin. Um, if you put it on thick. It's just going to, uh, you can just gouge your nail into it, it doesn't work. So you're better off a quick, <laughs> leave it for 15 minutes, <laughs> two or three times. If you really want to get it tough, you want seven or eight coats of that. And if you can, bake it in front of a halogen heater or something. Um, but that's just going crazy, I don't do that. But it will uh, set up much harder. Uh, there you go, that'll last many a stomp. And yeah, it'll look right posh on your pedal board. And the advantage with this is you can get really fine, I don't think you can see that, but the crafted with love by GIMP FX bit, that is tiny. That's an LED hole, that's my finger. 
look how small that lettering is and it's absolutely crystal clear. You'd have trouble doing that with screen printing. Um, so yeah, it's a great process. That's how I'm doing my pedals. For now, um, you can please yourself. Frankly, I don't care. Uh, go off and buy some kits and make some nice boxes. Cheers now. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.